<coughs> hey, hi there. Didn't see you there. <coughs> today it's gonna be a fun day, but before I get started, it's quite hot here today, so forgive me if I look a bit toasty. It's pretty hot in Houston today, so a little quick fun quiz before we get started. Who can tell me what these have in common? This, this. And this. If you guessed it, great. They're all Italian. So spaghetti, Lamborghini Diablo, um, and then the Sight Spectre HC, which is what we're going to talk about today. I had the pleasure to get this one on loan and review it for your viewing pleasure. This is a Sight Spectre HC. It's an Italian submachine gun this is not a submachine version this is a semi-automatic pistol civilian variant of it but it came it's a variant of a gun called a sight specter specter m4 this one is the hc specter hc which is again civilian version it's a submachine gun striker fire that works from a closed bolt uh, operation uh, Designed in Italy in the mid 80s, produced from 1997, if I believe, until around 2001. Actually, no, producing from the end of mid 80s to 97 in the in Italy, and then from 97 to 2001 in a Swiss, from a Swiss company, Greco Sport, I believe, who kind of got the rights and the <coughs> purchased the right from the original sites manufacturing company. I guess the company name was Sites. Uh, so, strike a fire, blowback mechanism, firing from the closed bolt, closed bolt. Ergonomics and design, it's pretty comfortable to hold. Again, it's a pistol, but think of it more of a submachine gun. Meaning, you know, you could easily put a stock there and extend it this way, which is actually, I believe, how the the Spectre M4, the military version, comes. You know, he has a stock. He had a stock there. Ah, very cool gun. I mean, very rare. We don't see these too too often. <coughs> I shot it earlier today, and you'll have some footage of how it shoots earlier. Grip wise, again, actually, before I continue, no ammunition on the magazine. No uh, ammo in the gun. The trigger is a double action, single action pistol. The trigger in, in single action is quite heavy, at least at least nine pound pull. But as soon as you pass that single action, the double action is very smooth. I would guess uh, based on my trigger gauge earlier, it's two and a half, three pounds at the most. The gun itself has a safety switch, it's ambidextric, but it, has al it also has a decocker switch right here. So when you load it, you can decock, which allows you to carry it with a round in the chamber, and then you can press the trigger and you fire. Uh, safety switch, and this is a fairly new gun. I don't even think it was fired extensively, but the safety switch is pretty hard right now, but I think it's because it's, it's, been, it's been barely fired. Uh, you use your half to use my thumb and put some pressure to operate the safety switch but very interesting design one of the particularity i found on the spectre is a couple of things the charging handle on the top right which has a cutout open so that you can still see the side through from the rear side to the front side the rear side kind of have a mechanism that also serve in retaining the back of the plate from the recoil spring once you disassemble the rifle it's got one one pin that you need to remove in order to take the disassemble the gun besides that pin and the little retention clip here that's it you can do a field stripping of the pistol quite easily the other interesting fact about this gun is the magazine the side spectre this one came with two magazine 50 round magazine 30 rounds magazine this one is chambering 9 by 19 millimeter round so 9 millimeter round these are called casket magazine 
four column so you have ammos or bullets if you want to lack of a better term sitting one two three four so double stack on each side basically each side of the, the magazine so I found that very interesting 50 round mags 30 round magazine a lot of rounds from your person and those mags are fat and big interesting design but the whole gun is very balanced it stands by itself when you sit it there right there you press this button to release the magazine so mag release is an interesting spot right in front of your trigger but not you know I, it gets really intuitive real fast right so it's it, it has not caused me any problem I just grab it pull it out this gun was designed in the 1980s, mid 80s. It was produced by Sites in Turin, Italy. I believe they stopped production in 1997. A Swiss company called Greco Sports continued the production in a small number of quantity from 97 area until 2001. You can have this gun in other caliber, 9 by 21 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 ACP. I think those four main rounds, including the 9x19s, are the different cartridges that the submachine gun fires. The effective range for this pistol or submachine gun, if you have the military variant, it's about 150 meters or 492 feet. <coughs> I guess of course very depending on which bullets and ammunition you're using single action double action as I mentioned decocker I just pressed the decocker there it, it's a little heavy but that weight is not unbearable and I think it really helps in the the way the gun shoots this shoots very soft I I like to call it like a, a flat shooter it shoots like a train on rail meaning with the recoil management and the weight of the gun and the platform, you don't have, it's very easy to handle. It doesn't, you get back on target very easily. And I didn't feel any, I didn't have any trouble shooting this gun, although there's no stock, there's no brace to support it. I just held it like that and it was pretty much right back on point. It reminded me a lot of how my PPS 43 shoots, right? So. They kind of, rem you know, the, when I shot the Spectre earlier today, it reminded me a lot about how this one shoots. And got safety on. So this PPS 43 is the same thing, although this is a, also it's an SBR, so it's a, it's got a stop. But when you shoot this one, things are pretty flat. It doesn't move. Well, it just goes this way. It doesn't move up and down too much. It's very smooth. I really like the way this gun shoots. So the Spectre HC reminded me of this PPS 43 in terms of the recoil management when I was firing the gun. This interesting design actually inspired a modern gun, which is a version inspired by this one, the BNT KH9, which we happen to have a copy of right here. Again, Magazine is empty, no ammunition in the gun. <clears throat> this BNT is a Swiss gun, Brugger and Tomé, Brugger and Tomé. Very nice gun, we'll talk more about it in another video, but I just want to mention it because he has a, it has a decoker right here, that's a decoker switch, I don't know if you can see. And charging handle on top, just like an HC Spectre cut out in the charging handle so you can see your side through. Uh, 9 by 19 9 millimeter round as well. This is another great shooter because it's so light, so easy, so light and nimble. Design is very similar to the HC Spectre or Spectre HC. About the same length except the BNT KH9 is a little longer. But this modern gun was inspired by this one right here. So we'll talk. We'll have a video on BNT pretty soon. Uh, but love these guys. So if you look at the different, look at this magazine, double stack magazine, thirty round. Look at this short. This is another thirty round. Look how short they are. This one is 
four column magazine casket size so same capacity smaller package as you see the sights are pretty normal they are very similar to the one on the PPS 43 right rear sight is just a notch on a plate that's not adjustable I don't think it is and then the front size is uh, adjustable and remind me of the side of an AR-15 you know kind of similar pattern you screw up and down elevation uh, I don't know if you move side to side I don't think so I think it's just elevation adjustment <coughs> this specific side spectre I believe I'm not sure if that's the corresponding number but it could have been made in 1992 uh, again these were importable until the weapon a sold ban in 1994 after that you could import this side spectra in uh, m4 version definitely not and i definitely understand why the italian special forces will use something like this because compact accurate shoots very well and it was very accurate by the way no fancy sights out of the box first time shooting today i was on target pretty much and again i was holding like this no stop nothing no major effort so um let's take a look at how it shoots at the range with the kh9 and the side specter Not bad. KH9, this is all KH9 shot. This was the Spectre. So not bad. KH9, I was able to tie all the group and then I dropped a couple here. The Spectre, very accurate. Considering there's not even a stop. It's only seven yards of course, but pretty good. Side Spectre HC. Who should buy collector gun collector? This is a cool gun to have in a collection. I wish I had one. I don't have this, is not mine. Um, I've seen it online right now in the two thousand dollar range at various auction sites. So let's see how we take it apart. So, in terms of the internals, right? <clears throat> Striker fire blowback mechanism fired on a close bolt. The disassembly procedure is quite simple one really retaining clip pin that retains the gun but it's got a little tiny clip there that's very fragile so i think if you damage this little guy here good luck finding one there are replacement one but i don't think there's a lot of parts available for this gun so you remove that single clip that pin right here you're supposed to hold this and tap the bottom which release the trigger so now you have the lower receiver group, if I should say, the trigger pack. And then, there's a little, you release this clip, careful, which retains the bolt and the mechanism. And there are a couple of springs mounted in this. And from there, you can now have the bolt carrier pieces fall out. And that's it. <clears throat> the gun is filled straight. beginning we had a hard time removing the trigger the group because it was kind of stuck there but now that I removed it a couple of times it feels a little more natural and easier so let's put it back together and I shot this today so it's not that clean all 
one, two, hopefully I'm not making a mess mistake. One spring goes inside the other. Then I run them inside here first. And then I control it. There you go. Trigger pack. I press one more thing, I gotta press this thing. There you go. Now it's in. You gotta press down on this plate to make sure it aligns and there's a notch in the lower part of the receiver group. There's a notch that goes into the space accessible once you press the bottom of the plate. So, And now the pin goes from left to right. Straight. Fold it. Back to normal. Function check. Fire. Function check. Decocker. Put it back on safety. There are, varial, there are several variants for this available for civilians. So this is the Spectre HC. This is also called Spectre Fa Sites Falcon. There's a version called Sites Ranger, which is a sub-carbon. It's got a stock. It has a feature of four grip, which is removable. It has a longer barrel and a top folding stock. So if you have a Sites Ranger, that's pretty cool. I have not seen one of those in person. Coming up next, I will try to have a, I will have, I don't know if this is going to be the next video, but I will have a video on the BNT, especially this KH9, which is a version of a BNT inspired by this gun and another couple of BNTs comparison. Uh, so stay tuned, help me grow the channel and I appreciate your support. In the meantime, stay safe. Let's continue to respect each other. There's a lot of stuff out there with the racial in inequalities and injustice in this great country. Hopefully we love each other more and then we respect each other. So I like the farms, I like guns, it's cool to collect them. Train with your gun, training is very important. But having those tools should not be your first resort in, ca in, term of, in case of a conflict, right? De-escalate the situation, learn how to defend yourself without using a gun. You can use this as a gun. Uh, your voice, speak up, listen, and just try to de-escalate conflict. I think if we do that a little more, perhaps there will be less fatalities. I'm not saying there won't be any conflict, but we can have another video on that. I think I'm rambling there, but it's a very important subject. I think we should learn how to de-escalate incidents more than we escalate them. So anyway. Thanks again for watching Easy Be Tactical. Next time.